Hey everyone, welcome back. Guys, in this video, you will learn to set up an automation to send Google form responses to multiple email addresses automatically. So guys, generally when you create a form inside Google Forms application, it gives you an option to receive notifications about the form submissions to the form owner. That means the, to the person who have created the form. Okay. But guys, sometimes we want that the notifications of the form submission should be delivered to the form owner and also with some other people like the team members of the form owner or to uh, some other people. Okay. So guys, here we have an automation which is designed to send not only the notification but also the actual form responses to the form owner as well as some other people whom you want to send the notifications and the responses. Okay, so let me show you how this is going to work. So guys, this is my Google form application and here you can see uh, in the responses section, when you click on these three dots, here it gives you option that get email notifications for new responses. Okay, so when you click on it, it starts sending you the notification of the form submission. But we want that we can send not only the notification, but also the responses to multiple people on their emails. Okay. So for that, we are going to set up an automation with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And we are going to start on from the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So guys, to reach here, you can use the link that we have pasted in the description for you. That is pabli.com slash connect from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. So sign up right now and log in to reach here on the dashboard. And here guys, you can create a workflow of automation by clicking on this create workflow button. And here you can uh, give a suitable name to this workflow. So I am giving the name here as Google forms responses to multiple emails. Okay. So after giving the name like this, just click on create and you can see your workflow is getting created here. And here guys, you will see the trigger and the action. So guys, automation work on these two things. So the trigger is that event which is going to trigger or start this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger. As in our use case, the trigger would be a new form submission that we are going to receive with the help of Google Forms. And the action would be to send emails to multiple people with the form submission, okay? So first of all, you need to set up this trigger. So from this choose app field, you have to choose your trigger application first. In our case, it is Google Forms. So search for Google Forms here. You can see here it is, select the Google Forms. Okay, and in the trigger event, it will show this new response received option. So it will trigger this workflow when a form is submitted. Okay. And here it will give you this URL. This is called as a webhook URL guys. And with the help of this, we are going to capture the data of the form submission here inside Pabli Connect. Okay. So guys, to make this connection, first of all, you need to open the spreadsheet that is uh, connected with this form where you are capturing the data. Okay. So you can see we have a spreadsheet attached here. Let me create one. So guys, this is the spreadsheet connected with Google form. Okay. And here as and when the form submission uh, happens, the data will be captured here in the rows of this sheet. Okay. So guys, to make this connection with webhook, you need to follow these instructions written here so you can read them uh, carefully and follow them. Let me show you how exactly we can make this connection. So reach the spreadsheet and from here you will find this extensions option click on extensions and from this add on section, click on get add ons. And from this Google workspace marketplace window, you have to install a, a plugin here, which is called Pabli connect webhox or an add on. Okay. So you have to install this Pabli connect webhox add on here. Okay. So it will just take two minutes to install it. So you can see it is already installed in my spreadsheet. So I do not need to install it again, but guys, as you install this add on here, after that, you need to refresh your spreadsheet. This is an important step. After installing Pabli Connect Webhox here, you need to refresh your spreadsheet. Okay. And after that, when you click on extensions, you will find this Pabli Connect Webhox option here available in the drop down. And from here only, you have to click on initial setup. Okay. 
and under this initial setup window guys you have to paste the webhook url here in this field okay so you can see we have webhook url here just copy this webhook url and paste it here in this field and in the trigger column you have to enter the name of the final data entry column of your spreadsheet let me show you this is my spreadsheet guys I have to start entering the data from the column A then after B, C, D, E and F and as I enter the data in this F column that is going to trigger the workflow and the uh, responses will be delivered to our workflow okay. So click on extensions, Pabli connect webhooks, initial setup. So you can select any of the columns as the trigger column okay. So let me paste webhook URL first here in the webhook URL field and the trigger column is F put here F okay right so we are done making the connection and, and in our workflow you can see as I have copied this webhook URL it started showing waiting for the webhooks response so this means now we have to perform a test submission okay so we are going to capture the test data out from our spreadsheet to here and with the help of that test data we are going to move forward in the automation okay so to get this test data here you need to click here on the send test button and the data of the first row that you have will be delivered at this as the test data in our workflow but currently we do not have any data so let me quickly fill this form so you can fill in the details as you want so these are the demo details of any person okay so guys i have filled in the details here inside the form and i'm going to click on submit here and you can see the form is submitted and let's check in our spreadsheet if we got the data and you can see we got the data of the form submission here as this okay so now click on extensions and from Pabli connect webhooks initial setup here let me enter the details of the webhook url okay this is the webhook url this is the trigger column okay and i'm clicking on send test now and you can see it has written here test data sent successfully okay so let's check in our workflow if we got the test data and you can see in this response receive section we got the test data as this the timestamp the name the age the email the phone number the profession so these are the same details that we have filled in the form and we got here in the spreadsheet are captured now okay so now click on submit and we are done making the connection now click on extensions again and from Pabli connect webhooks option just click on this send on event button also okay so when you check this send on event button what will happen whenever you receive any form response it is going to trigger the workflow and the data will be transferred okay now what we want is that we want to send the notifications as well as the responses to multiple emails okay so for that we are going to use this action step and from here we are going to use gmail application to send those notif email notifications okay so from this choose app field search for gmail which is this okay select it and in the action event select send email option then click on connect and from this window select add new connection and then click on connect with gmail okay so from this window it will ask from which gmail account you want to send those emails so you have to select that gmail account by which you want to send those emails okay then you have to provide some additional access to Pabli Connect. Just click on continue and you will be connected with Gmail application like this. And here it is asking for the recipient email address, the CC, the BCC and all these things. Okay. So guys here you have to enter the email address. And here in this recipient email address field, you can enter the email addresses of your team members or of the people whom you want to send those form submissions okay so here let me enter the email addresses of the people to whom i want to send those emails okay so like this you can enter the email addresses so this is the first person now put a comma here and enter the email address of the second person so guys here i have entered email addresses of three people one is this second is this then third is this okay and if you want to put someone in CC or BCC, you can enter the email addresses here. And here you can uh, enter the sender's name. So our sender's name is Ashirai. Okay. And here you can type the email sub subject as 
new submission received from Google Forms. Okay, so you can type the subject accordingly. Okay, and here you can reply to and here you can select the email content type as plain or HTML. I'm selecting plain. And here you can type the email that you want to send to your people. Okay, so here I'm entering the email. So guys, I have typed the email for my team like this. Hello team, we have just received a new submission from a Google contact form. The submission details are as follows and here I'm going to map the details that I have received as a test submission in the first step. So we have received the test submission here. You can see in the first step like this. So guys, I'm going to map all these labels here in my email. So to map the data, you just have to click here in front of the name field and you will find this Google Forms step in the drop down. And from here only you can map, you can see the details that you have received and map it from here. Okay. So similarly map the age as well, map the email as well. So guys, I have mapped the uh, data like this. You can see now you can check your connection with your email by clicking on save and send test request. And this email will be delivered to these three Gmail accounts. Okay, so I can show you this. I have access of, uh, to this three email accounts that I have filled here. Okay, so I'm clicking on save and send test request and you, I can show you how the emails will look like. So this is the response we have received here. Let me show you the emails. So this is the first email inbox you can see and we have received an email here as this from Ashirai new submission received from Google Forms and this is the email hello team and you can see the data that we have mapped in the workflow is here in these like this okay right and this is the other email account and this is the second email account you can see Michael Karas that I have added in my workflow and the same email is received here like this okay and this is the third email inbox and the same email is here you can see okay so these are the same email addresses that i have filled in the workflow that we received here okay so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and let me give you a quick recap here so first of all i connected google forms in the trigger and with the help of this webhook url and these instructions we made the connection and captured the test response as this then we connected Gmail application to send emails, notifications and the form submission on multi on multiple email accounts. So we have added the accounts here in this recipient email addresses field. And then we typed an email and mapped the content like this. So guys, we when you map the labels like this, what will happen after setting up this automation? Whenever you receive a form submission, these labels are going to change automatically with new data and you will receive a new email always. Okay, so you have to set up this automation only once after that it is going to run automatically. And the best part is you can use the same workflow that I have created because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.